early morning live. I'm still half sleep, man. It's Saturday. Taking a walk. Half sleep, half awake. Check out the school they just built, man. By my house. Hush tunes out working. I'm, I'm complaining that I'm half sleep to the wall. And they out here building villas. Inshallah, to a good luck. Alright, good morning. Set out when I'm a toy light, better character. It's about 75 degrees out here, man. So, mashallah, this is the winter, Saudi, and it's gonna get a little bit colder, inshallah. It's 10 p.m. in LA. Just taking a walk in the neighborhood. Brand new school they just opened. These are private schools. A year ago, this whole over the side that I'm pointing the camera at was all dirt, empty lots. Saudi, mashallah, they doing a lot of construction to build their country up. Even this school last year, this was empty, nothing but dirt over here. As you can see, they go, they doing, they got a mashallah, a construction boom going on out here. Now I'm going to the corner store of the Yemenis. You see, they about to build, they about to build something right here. All right, Ibn, what's up, bro? What's going on with you? They had to cut it about a week or about a week old. It ain't that fresh. Phone call came in. The interior minister. <laughs> that was the interior minister. <laughs> You think you think you made me go get a haircut, man? I stay with a fresh haircut, boy. What you talk about? It's, it's still a jersey up in me, man. It's still jersey up in me. So now I'm gonna tell life better catch it. I stay with a fresh cut, man. You know I'm still from Jersey, man. We like to keep a haircut on us. You yo, you a funny dude, bro. <laughs> I'm about to go to the store, man. Look, they driving on the wrong side of the street. Welcome to Saudi, man. But all that about to change once the women start driving. Everybody going to jail, you do that. Hey, Ibn, our gas station is way better than the gas stations in Irvington. <laughs> Muhammad Kareem, mashallah, what up, little bro? Irvington. 
Edmonton gas station's jammed up, boy. <laughs> and all the crackheads are working in it. <clears throat> Salaam alaikum. Check out the store. The Yemeni joint. This is our corner store. It's better than Poppy Corner Store in Irvington. What's going on, little cousin? I see you. Get these kids some cereal, man. But it's Saturday. I want to walk. You know what I mean? Y'all ain't see that. Yeah, this the corner store out here, bro. It's better than Poppy Corner Store. So now I'm gonna tell you about the cat. Check out the corner store, man. The Yemenis run this, they do it big. And the milk, we get our fresh milk from today, man. You look at the date, we'll find something for the day. Your milk and your milk and herb tent produced three weeks ago, um, Ibn, and you still drink it. Ibn, your milk and herb tent produced about three weeks ago, and you still drink it. <laughs> How the Halid Kabir, huh? I'm going for the big joint. Look at that. Today, to, today is the fourth. Look, look what it says on the milk. See, we get that fresh stuff out here. Okay, we have. We get the fresh stuff, Ibn, man. You still drinking milk from the corner store from two weeks ago. The expiration date probably January 1st, man. Here, everything fresh, alhamdulillah. They probably know I'm American, man. Get some bananas. Look at that, man. Even the corner store, this, this is definitely like a Puerto Rican poppy store, though. Because they got vegetables, fruits in the corner store. Poppy, Poppy help help them design this maybe. See my bird like grapes, so I gotta get some grapes. Salaam alaikum. They even sell so definitely. Time of the time of the dates everywhere, mashallah. This is in Saudi, mashallah, Riyadh. Halas. No. Give me some. This ain't shop right, man. This is the corner store, huh? <laughs> Come for loose? So my name is Galatin. Yeah, this is our corner, this is our gas station, um, um, what's it? This is our gas station, man. You mad because the gas stations in Irvington, all crackheads working there. <laughs> all the gas stations in Irvington ran by crackheads, man. <laughs> You know, it's Saturday, man. You gotta be, you gotta walk. You gotta be active. You can't drive to the corner store all the time. Yeah, he said Lucy's, man. Ahmed, what's going on, bro? EA5 few, man. I don't even know what that is, man. You can Google. <laughs> you can Google it if you really want to find out. A gas station boy, Irvington don't got no guy. Jersey, you ain't seeing these gas stations. Jersey, Jersey, you would have had a crackhead sleep right there. <laughs> and now uh, we, we pray that they Irvington get better gas stations, man. We want, I want to see the town clean up. <laughs> yeah, you funny, bro. I want to see the town clean up. <laughs> but they going to sit down, but I'm going to tell you, I better catch. Yeah, they was asleep, though. 
You, yeah, you had three of them sleeping. You right? Stack with a lot. I forgot what was the Haitian dude, man. Last time I went to Jersey, he was still working at the gas station. I forgot my man. Damn, what was his name? Mooney had a fight with him. Yeah, the 4G, the Saudi stepping everything up. Wi-Fi is good, mashallah. Saudi Arabia is a country, they very slow in certain things, but they fast in certain things. Like, I've been here for seven years and I've seen a lot of change. You know what I mean? Yeah, what's his name again, Ibn? I'm gonna cut through one of the neighborhoods so y'all can see. They building, you know, everywhere you look, they building. I feel like back home walking and carrying bags, mashallah. And yeah, they got their money over here, mashallah. Saudi always gave women rights. That's the problem. People, people equate rights to a woman driving or not. These women over here in Saudi, man, they got... What's up, Keisha? All right, all right. That's my little sister right there. Keisha Cole, man. What's up, Keisha? People equate women rights with women driving. Saudi Arabia always gave women their rights. There's so much... When I moved here, man, these women are for you. Islam teaches us to give the women their rights. You know what I mean? You can say Saudi just allowed women to start driving, that's different. But as far as women have their rights, man, these women definitely have their rights over here. Yeah, women can be outside with a man. See, that's, y'all watch too much CNN, y'all believe that stuff. Women can do that, man, women have so much rights in this country, man. They can do whatever a man can do, pretty much. As long as it's not against Islam, you know what I mean? Check out the homes. I want y'all to see the houses in the neighborhood. It's a new school they just built. Yeah, the woman got rights over here, man. Don't don't believe that stuff, man. Not, not only do they have rights, women in Saudi Arabia, Khaliji countries are spoiled. MashaAllah, they took they getting taken care of. These and these homes here are considered small homes to Saudi Arabia. A Saudi would tell you this is a small home. <laughs> Yeah, Saudis, all my Saudi friends say these, these homes are too small. See what I'm saying? They're doing a lot of construction, mashallah. The country is still building. It's a country that's still building. I think a house like that might be about a million reals, which is about maybe $350,000. This is a small home, so these can still look like small villas, about three, four hundred thousand. These my peoples, the Pashtuns right here, boy, they, they work hard, mashallah. They didn't want to build all the homes. Yeah, these are small homes out here. Mashallah, they be working. They building some more homes, look. MashaAllah, Tabarakallah. Yeah, what's going on, Arno, man? You, you, you most welcome, come visit. Come visit, that's my Armenian Russian homie. I know that's a crazy, um, a crazy mix, man. Adukada, what's going on, bro? Yeah, your wife, um, he told me Pashtun, mashallah. I 
I like out here, man, because when they on the when they on the construction field, they wear normal clothes. <laughs> the pashtuns wear their pashtuni clothes, man. You ain't about to put them in no construction outfit. Check it out, Mustafa. What's going on, Mustafa? That's the homie from the hood from Irvington. Pashtuns working. Boy got his beard. Salam alaikum to Allah, kid Ahal. Salam alaikum. Damn, I should have made my kids come to carry these bags. You got boys, you gotta, you gotta make them work. These are apartment buildings. This is how the apartment buildings look. Yeah, I've been to Australia before, alhamdulillah. Yeah, that's real talk. That's they consider small homes because here you have like three generations of family in the same home. They not with they with keeping a mother and father in the same home with them, their grandparents. You know, it, it ain't no old folks home over here where they send the people to the old folks home. It's it, it's shameful for the Muslim to do that, you know what I mean? Damn, this is a workout, man, carrying these bags. Like, we gotta chop it up, Arno man. We gotta um, cause you would need a certain visa. You would need a visa to come to Saudi. You can't. America don't have that much privilege, man. They can't just hop on a plane and come to Saudi. You gotta have a visa. You can go to Dubai. The weather is perfect in January, of course. You know what I mean. You can go to Dubai, but if we. If you want to come and talk about that doc, that that business, I holler at you about. Maybe you can um, we can work something out. You know what I mean? Inshallah. Yeah, man, it's a workout, man. A walk, carrying bags, my hands all numb, but alhamdulillah. These are apartment buildings, mashallah. What do I like most about where I'm at? Well, one, one, besides being a Muslim country, you know what I mean? It's a very safe, a very safe country, very safe country. The people here, majority of the people here, are very good people, mashallah, majority, you know what I mean? Majority of the people here are very friendly, very good. And um, it's a nice place, you hear the call of prayer five times a day, very safe, very safe for women, very safe for children. This is considered a government school that the government built. They haven't finished though. This is like just for the Saudi, Saudis, you know what I mean? Like how, this is a public school, how we have our public schools back home. This is a public school in Saudi that the government built. As you can see, we got a mad shit pretty much on every corner, alhamdulillah. These are, the, these are more like normal homes. Home's not cheap over here, it's far from cheap. I wish it was cheap though. <laughs> this would be more of a normal home, mashallah, tabarakallah. And this is the government school, as you can see. This is the public school way down there. So it's good, alhamdulillah. Damn, hands in them. I'm about to let y'all go, man. Check it out. That's like a normal house. Yeah, 
so I'm about to be out, man. Cause my battery about to die anyway. I'm about to be out, but it's always good hollering at family, friends. Yeah, these are homes, man. These considered normal homes, like normal size homes for Saudis. You see the walls, they have high walls. So when the woman is out there, they don't have to cover up. You know, they usually have gardens, green, whatever they want. They woman can chill. Don't have to worry about anybody seeing their daughter, their wife. You know what I mean? Mashallah, Long Beach, what's up, bro? You see another mash here right there on the corner. That's my local mash here, Mashallah. Yeah, I love Riyadh, man. <laughs> that sound is they, um, they, they building. So already doing a lot of construction over here. That's the Pashtuns, my peoples. You see them over there? They still building homes. About two years ago, all this whole block, half of this block was empty. Nothing but dirt. As you can see, they build it, mashallah. All right, y'all, I'm out, man. It's my Pashtun peoples, mashallah. Look at this. Pashtun people strong, mashallah. No construction uniform. They wear normal clothes, man. Salam alaikum. All right, man. Y'all, I'm out. Inshallah. I'll let y'all lead, inshallah. Peace. Check out the match here first. The minute right. I'm gonna show y'all my block real quick before I be out. Salam alaikum. It's important to give the salams first. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said the one who initiate the salam is better than the one who don't. So as a Muslim, we should always be racing to get some type of good deeds, even if they're small, you know what I mean? It's my block, mashallah. It's my hood, it's my hood. All right, brothers, sisters, I holla at y'all. Abdul Qadda, what's going on, man? I need some of that Caribbean food, bro. Huh? All right, so now I'm going to a life better catch.